When there's an injustice against you or someone you love or someone you believe in, stand up. Don't sit down on them. You know, they need you. Welcome to Pop Culture Justice on Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm here with It's Kim, and we are here Hello. to break down today's news on uh, Monday, August 23rd, a very slow news day. So slow, I just didn't get find a video this morning that I was passionate about. You know what? I shouldn't have to post a video if there's nothing to talk about, right, Kim? Uh, exactly. So yeah. just, you know, uh, that's how it'll go. I want to be I want to be excited when we talk about the news. And today I got some interesting stories I did find, uh, thanks to the team here and everybody else and looking as we were perusing links. Uh, some interesting information about Elon Musk and a Twitter whistleblower that has come forward basically saying, well, yeah, no, Twitter's totally lying. There's way more bot bots than uh, they want to admit to. And I want to break through that along with some other Elon Musk news, as well as Harry Styles drama. What? Yeah, there's some Harry Styles drama going out there. Do you guys care about Harry Styles? I didn't think he would, but uh, I guess a lot of people do, Kim. I didn't mean that meanly. Like, I like his music. He's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, do we? Do we I, I got to react because he was trending today with some drama. So it's slow news day. We're going to see if you guys care about Harry Styles, uh, as well as Britney. It's Britney, bitch. And man, it leaked. It's Britney, bitch. It leaked because Elton John leaked it. But I guess Sir Elton <laughs> can do it every once since technically it's his song. So yeah. If he yeah. wants to put it out early at some weird club, he can. Oh, my God. And look who just joined. It's Cat Butt and Vito. How are you doing, Vito? Hey! I'm fighting a stupid cat who will not lie down. Scratch, get out of here. Skit, skit. <laughs> uh, good to see you both. Thank you both for being here. Kim and Vito. Oh, we know we're on for a good show. Oh, I, I need to do some uh, uh, more karaoke, maybe voice changing karaoke. Uh, do you want to meet I my... I mean, Ooh. I have to say, I'm a huge fan of Toxic, the Chipmunk Demon remix. It was, it was really just good. Amazing, amazing, v Vito, iconic. I have a. I have a, I have a new Chipmunk character <clears throat> that I can break out whenever <laughs> I want. And I call this one Army Hammer's Dick. Hello. I'm Army Hammer's dick, and I want to oh rip the, the ribs Did we apart and eat your <laughs> spleen. <Toxic Army> ah. <laughs> See, I have a lot of like fun characters. Is that that show. voice mod program? Uh, it's the Roadcaster Pro like Two. Ba -ba 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 Bam! I have my I'm my excited. my voice pads. It's really nice. Uh, and then I have this one with Zandrea. and then I have <laughs> Antonio. Or was that Antonio? Hello, Vito. So You'll nice have to, to tell me what you. program this is because ah. I got kept screwing up my audio. And we also have uh, the uh, the Rando three thousand, which is the internet. You can ask the internet questions, Vito, but we'll save that for later. I'll reveal that later. Ooh. But before we get to all the fun stuff, because I just have a sense today is going to be a fun show where we just hang out with you guys. Uh, I want to talk about this Elon Musk story. All right, yes, top story. Here it is. Uh, catch us live every day. We're here just hanging out, fun times, breaking down the news. And today's top story. Whistleblower allegation alleges that uh, his allegations could factor into the Twitter versus Musk trial. Twitter's former security chief alleges that the company is hiding the ball when it comes to spam and bots. Ooh, what does this mean? Now, for those that are, are unaware, Elon Musk, a.k.a. who I believe is Amber Heard's baby daddy, uh, who mm. I do believe was doing a sale on Twitter to try to... Part of the reason was to help distract things during the whole trial, because that's when it happened. And now he's sort of backed out because he's saying it's filled with more <laughs> bots than what I was sold, which I also do believe. I'm going to say I, I have a, you know, I have a love hate relationship with Elon Musk. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about the guy, but there is some stuff I feel like he's doing that is probably legit. And uh, I do like some of the technology and things he's pushing out there. But is he the best guy? Probably not. Uh, but, uh, you know. Yeah, that's my feelings. Anyway. I think he used to be a good guy, and then he kind of got led down this kind of extremist hole that it seems like people who hang out on Twitter too long kind of go nuts. That could be. He used to be a way more be, yeah. normal kind of guy, and then he kind of went nuts because he wanted to be kind of famous and beloved. And Fame will do that to, to you, people. man. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I think if you give anyone enough fame or power, it, it, it corrupts, right? We all know that. And yeah. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but I mean, I think there is still, I feel like I'm speaking in Star Wars language of like, there's still good in him. There's still, <laughs> still good. good in you, Anakin. <laughs> My God, what is happening to their camera there? Oh, there's, there's, 
There's the kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi. I have no idea how I'm supposed to work because she's in front of my monitor. Aww. She's doing this. That's so cute. Scraps, I can't get to any of my buttons, you freaking nut job. Aww. Yeah, Scraps is the worst. Scraps is like, I just want tummy rubs right now. So Yeah, all that's all she ever Wait wants. A second. There's no, that's your computer? Hold on a second. Uh, you work off a laptop? Yeah, well, no, no. That's uh that screen is a that's a drawing tablet. Oh, I was gonna say, right my God, that's all you do? I was like, how do you do? No, that? and then I have the oh, second okay. monitor here. I have two monitors going. Oh, okay, good. I was gonna say, my God, that's impressive. You're doing it all off a laptop. I should uh, have a bigger monitor, but yeah. it's dry, I don't know. I got three now, and it's too much. As you, I'm literally yeah. looking at everything, and then I got a fourth <laughs> that eventually I'm gonna have be able to control that. Why is oh, that's the reflection? Anyway, all right, back to the story. Elon Musk is he crazy? Is he is he evil? Well, all these things we're gonna talk about, but right now, uh. Is Twitter full of spam bots? It sure seems like it to me. Uh, yes. Elon Musk is alleging that Twitter is vastly undercutting the number of spam and bot accounts on its platform. Uh, a new whistleblower complaint from a recently fired top uh, Twitter executive could add ammunition to the argument that uh, provides little ha hard evidence. So, so here's the problem with this case. Because I was excited when I read this because I, I do believe that they're hiding their bots because they would be, it would help them to do that. Why would they want to get rid of users and make their platform less successful? You know, having more bot accounts and not admitting their bot accounts adds to their bottom line by touting, oh, all these amazing 238 million daily users, even though, you know, probably maybe, I don't know how many million, but several million are also just fake spam accounts. But hey, we still have all this amazing people. It, it, it benefits them to not really come clean on this is what the reality is. However, even though this guy is a disgruntled employee who's been fired, he didn't bring any evidence. Now, maybe they're saving it for like the trial and that's, Maybe that's smart, but uh, former head of security Peter Zatko accuses Twitter of lying about bots to Elon in a whistleblower complaint filed in July with regulators, including the Securities and Exchange Commission, the copy of which was obtained by the Washington Post. Zatko, a well-known figure in the security community, alleges that Twitter is not incentivized to tally the true number of bots and spammy accounts on the service, which counts 238 million daily users. And he lays out another argument that could give Musk potential boost to his fight to prove Twitter broke its contract when he agreed to acquire the company for $44 billion, that Twitter deceived regulators regarding the defenses against hackers. Um, Zacco provides limited hard do documentary evidence in his complaint regarding spam and bots, so the potential impact on those allegations is difficult to gauge. Musk's lawyer scheduled a deposition with him before the publication of the complaint, according to a person familiar with the matter who spoke on the condition of anonymity. 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 Thank you. Uh, to discuss <laughs> certain words, I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. To discuss an ongoing legal matter, uh, Twitter has repeatedly pushed back against the argument that it does not tally or work intensely to combat bots or spam. Uh, anyway, so this is, it goes on and, and, and they, Twitter's saying, we don't have it. And now this whistleblower's like, yo, dude, that's, you guys totally lied. There are bots. Um, there's a lot more in the article that goes sort of back and forth. He said, she said, but uh, the question of like, are they, who's, who's lying here? Did Elon Musk do this as a troll? which I know, Kim, we've talked about this. Elon Musk likes to go online and do sort of trollery things. Was this a, uh, uh, it's also somebody just reminded me, Andy, it's Tuesday, not Monday. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> I totally forgot that it is, in fact, Tuesday. So I, correction, I correct myself, unlike some journalists on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, do you believe this was a trollery of Elon to try to buy Twitter and make a big stunt out of it? Or do you think he actually has a cause here where it's like, yeah, Twitter, you totally lied about the amount of spots and spam. It's not as legit as we thought. Uh, Kim, I'll go to you first because I know you follow, you know, the crypto and things like this. What are your thoughts on Elon and this new uh, reveal? I think he may have started as a joke and now it's kind of gone into, you know, he took a look at it and went, I didn't think it was that bad. And now it's become a thing. I kind of get that feeling. Yeah, it's like a mixture of both where he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, oh shit, I'm really on the hook. To, maybe I should yeah. buy this. Uh, like, oh, wait, no, yeah. I don't want to buy this. I could buy Twitter. Look at me. I'm so rich. And then you get in there and it's like the scene from Community where everything's on fire. And he's like, I don't want to buy this. This is weird. <laughs> and, now, and now we're here, you know? What about you, Vito? Do you think he meant to buy Twitter? Do you think it was a joke? And do you think it really is filled with spam bots? Well, hold on. I wanted to see. Well, I, here's what happened. I mean, this seems like the simplest thing in the world. Uh, when he wanted to buy it, it was he was going to get it for fifty four dollars a share, and now Twitter's trading for forty dollars a share. There's been a huge market downturn. Yes. So he's like, "Oh God, 
what have I done? I bought it at he bought it at literally the worst possible moment. Or one so could to say me, he's I, he's he's doing that on purpose, right? To to try and get it for a cheaper price. To ten, well, it, but he's not. It would be one thing if he was saying, "Hey, sell it to me cheaper," but I don't think he can do that because he already agreed to a deal. He's he kind of screwed himself. I think he was like, "Oh, this is good, and tr- Twitter will go up if I buy it, and everyone's gonna like it." And now he's like. It's literally worth what? What is that? Like a 20% drop, if not yeah. more. So he's like, oh, God, that's, you know, because how, how much was it going to cost? About Wasn't it 50 billion or something? Yeah. $44 yeah. billion. Dollars. That's talking about if he goes through with this deal, he immediately loses like 12 billion bucks, if not more. I'm doing the math in my head. So yeah. I think that's a big part of it is that he was like, oh, this will be a good investment. And now he's like, oh, fart. If I had just waited a little bit, I could have done a lot better. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. Does he want it? Is I guess what I'm. I mean, it seems like he does it, or maybe he's just trying to get it for cheaper. Maybe meet in the middle and say, "Well, if I well, sue how him, much money? What is his net worth? Does he is he a trillionaire yet? I don't think he's a trillionaire, but he's one of he is the most. Isn't he the richest guy right now? Or he's on the Elon list. Musk is worth two hundred and sixty three billion. Yeah. So forty four billion dollars. Okay, that's you know you're taking a big risk. It is your a hit money. for that's, him almost a fifth of his total worth that he's about to potentially flush down the toilet. Cause Twitter has never uh, turned a profit. It's always famously been, you know, losing money. The Saudis own it for some reason they bought it and they're like, we don't know why we have this thing. We really wish we could figure out how to make money off it. I thought that Elon Musk could come in and kind of radically transform it into something that makes money. Uh, and I, I, I assume, I hope that was part of his plan. How does it make money though? Is really Twitter. That's a problem. Everyone wants to be free and do their things, but they don't want the ads. They don't want their data sold. And in order to like make money, you have to have better promoted things. And I I don't know. You have to have the sponsored ads. Yeah. Which everyone's going to revolt against. Right. Well, that's the thing is it's going to have to turn into Facebook, which everybody hates where, you know, they're constantly trying to sell you stuff every two seconds. The problem with social media is there's so many users. It's so much server uh, space you need to maintain that many people that you're bleeding money on the uh, the infrastructure just to just to manage all those users. And it's very hard to make it back in advertising. I was thinking he was going to have to take Twitter and honestly expand it out and make it like a YouTube or a Facebook. Uh, yeah, good in luck, order for though. It to make, yeah, it would have to do something different than what they're doing now. Well, so I, don't, also, I don't know why he wanted to buy it anyway, because it's such a huge risk. But now he goes, oh, my God, I lose $12 million just from buying it. I, I don't blame him for trying to get out of it. Yeah, he's definitely trying. He's also subpoenaing uh, Jack Dorsey, the former CEO, who's basically saying that he was involved. But it's unclear like what he's sort of alleg- alleging here that Dorsey's not giving. It's, yeah. it's, it's all very confusing because Dor- <laughs> apparently Dorsey was in there sort of saying, hey, buy it. Uh, is what the sort of rumors were. Um, mm. Dorsey's just a, a step down, but uh, he was egging on Musk's attempt to buy Twitter in private messages is what it says. Uh, so I'm still trying to figure out what there is, but it's clearly this battle is just getting on. The The fight is in November. It's October, November. It's coming up, uh, the hearing. So I'm very curious to follow this story and see what actually happens here, who will win. Um, but uh, it's yeah. hard because Twitter, I don't know, Twitter man it's hard to make a profit on Twitter and it's hard. And, and the reality is as someone who's, I remember when Twitter first started, even in like the heyday of it. And then I, I remember working with comedian, Kevin Nealon at the time who had like a million followers and he was all excited. And there were certain celebrities that came on early and were getting millions of followers. And we did a viral video with him and, you know, got that elusive tweet at the time, which was very valuable and like, Oh got a huge person with a million to follow it. Like literally zero engagement from that tweet. And I've followed yeah. ever since then. And I knew a buddy who worked for Ashton Kutcher at the time who also was big on Twitter back in the day. Like in its earliest days, they knew it wasn't as active as everyone thinks it is. And it's never gotten better. Like engagement on Twitter is never a view driver for me, at least. I don't know if it is for you, Vito, but I never, the analytics never show me as Twitter as a big selling point. You know, I can get a little bit maybe in the beginning you of a really video. You really have to have like a viral tweet yeah. to get anything. It's yeah. got to go yeah. super viral. And, and uh, Twitter Twitter is useful for things. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate Twitter fully. I think uh, from a uh, mental health perspective, Twitter can be really bad for you. But from an engagement and content perspective, it is a useful tool, but it doesn't translate to huge views. So I, I don't I, I 
be shocked to see big brands really wanting to overpay to be on this platform, especially now with this rumor that yeah, oh, yeah all the users are just for, are, are fake. Uh, they've been lying to everybody. And it's all it's all fraudulent. <laughs> and honestly, I I think that's happening here on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere. They're all regurgitating views. I, I worked. I won't say which company, but I worked for a company that would literally just put videos on websites that were popular and they were on the side. It still happens. So every time yeah. someone would reload the page, it would reload reload a view. Yeah, and, and it then, counts as a view. Yeah, it's and then crazy. they I would don't charge know how these advertisers. To, the sponsors would that. get paid like we're going to give you a million views, and it was all bullshit views. No one's actually. They yeah, every time I watch like uh, read an article, it starts playing an ad before it. I'm not watching that ad. I'm not paying attention to that. There's a ton yeah. of those sites like Zerg.net, like those clickbait crappy sites that are on the side of other sites to try to get you to click. They're all just farmed. Other owned by other companies. If you really break it down. And then there's like networks that the, they sell to a, hey, Pizza Hut, want to buy this? Great. We're going to put you on our ad network and you're going to get millions of views and it's all bullshit, nonstick clicks. Mm-hmm. It's just weird to me that a lot of brands haven't come wise to it. I think they are, but Twitter is like another example of that where I just feel like it's not really there. You have to go super viral. And I think, you, you know, buying promoted tweets and stuff can actually probably be helpful in at least getting the word out on something. I'm sure it's not that bad, but I also know it's very expensive to do and it's probably not worth it. The real. So anyway, the the yeah. main story being here of this, it's just strange. And then a, a follow up story, uh, which I think it was uh, Cassie put this in the link. Uh, this was just interesting, and her comment was the same thing of like, yeah, maybe it would work if you just got off fucking Twitter and stop doing stupid shit. Uh, which I think she's right. But I I have so much to talk, like, why are we doing brain chips, Vito? I'd love your insight on this because. I get it. The whole point is like, well, someone who's quadriplegic, like who can't move, mm-hmm. you could put a brain chip in and they could control a computer and control a wheelchair and they could do things, you know, Professor X style, like while they're, you know, yeah. doing it. And, and, and in theory, yeah, for certain, you know, cases, that's amazing and gives people, you know, chance to do things they could never do. So I, I understand it, but you know, that's going to be exploited. And then we're all just going to be like, oh, I need the new brain chip in my brain to like, tell me what to do things it's going to be a hip new thing and then suddenly they're going to control our brains i don't know if that's going to happen (laughs) what do you mean you don't know why that's going to happen how is it not all going to the point where these companies control our brains i want the brain ship you're one of these brain ship naysayers your grandpa you're going to get left behind well, me and my cyber buddies are surfing the future (laughs) of technology you're going to look like those idiots on on a book book of boba fett Quarantine yeah, exactly. in your brain. <laughs> I'm gonna look like Lobot. Remember Lobot from Star Wars? Uh Lando Calrissian's little buddy. Yes. Lobot. I'm gonna be Lobot. I'm gonna be surfing the uh what the oh the uh the mods. Here they are. We love the mods. The Mighty Morphin uh the mods. Show us show them Lobot. I'm gonna be Lobot. These He's guys. my favorite. Star Lobot? Wars How do I spell that? L O B O T because uh George Lucas was too lazy to name. Oh, you I know really which guy. There's yes. a different Lobot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't know his name. Need to type Lobot Star Wars. There's I didn't know his Lobots name, but yeah, my there. God, that is a. Because yeah. George Lucas goes, what is he? Oh, he's kind of like a robot of a man. Well, what do we name Cyborg. him? Cyborg. We can't. We can't just name him Robot. <laughs> what about Lobot? Lobot. <laughs> I, I love this I, guy. I just look at these chips, and a part of me thinks about like. Like I play a lot of games from EA and I think about like all the little microtransactions and how whenever there's an update, everything breaks and yep. it's just a complete disaster. And I honestly wonder like what happens if you get the chip in your brain and then there's an update and it breaks and it like messes with everything, you know? And how do you get all that fixed? Or are you just like completely out of commission until they figure out a patch or something listen man once the once the robots start taking over you're going to be begging for our brain chip oh. just to keep up in the cyber wars hey right? i say please <laughs> and thank wars. you to my google at home because i know it's coming i know it's coming i want to be in the good books but it's just i i just i worry about human error at that point when you bring in that type of tech because eventually things will break down and how often do you need to there has to be a hardware update at some point you know what I mean? Like, how does all of that work? I guess that's kind of, I wonder it's gonna sometimes. Be They'll wire, there's going to be a Bluetooth transmitter and you're going to be able to hear all your favorite songs. Yeah, but like, and, think uh, about, okay, whatever tech you had 10 years ago, would you want that same hardware now? 
Well, you can upgrade. You're going to go into the, you know, they'll cut open you your head. You can go under the knife every way. time you want to get an upgrade. They'll put, a, they'll put a port in, and the port won't have to change, and then you can just plug in a new computer every time. See, there's going to be like a Tesla damn, you know, OS update, and you, you're going to have to, every year and a half, you're going to use your This head is cut totally open. a thing. You don't think this is a thing, Beat? I mean, you, it sounds like you're, I can't tell if you're joking. Not. They are going to put brain chips. Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely. not joking. I would, I would absolutely be like first in line to get a brain chip. Like I just if they told me like I could be talking me. to like a boring person and just close my eyes and go watch like YouTube videos, I'm like, uh-huh. I don't even have to close my eyes. I can have the brain ship take over and have like a default routine conversation while I'm just hanging out playing video games inside of my head. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Chip me up, as they <laughs> say. <laughs> Chip me up. Well, Andy, Elon... are you going to get your corpse frozen so you can uh, enjoy the future for real? No, no, I'm definitely not. I'm oh, going to get my on. corpse frozen. I'm just going to be dead. Uh, Me and Captain Kirk are doing it. Oh, William Shatner's doing it? Really? Are you getting your body frozen? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Shatner's going to get his body frozen. Well, yeah. you don't have to get the whole body frozen. They'll just cut off your head, and that's way cheaper. Like in Futurama, they just expect to be heads, jars, and heads? Yeah, basic. Well, because why do you need your body? The idea is, like, they'll grow you a body in the future. Really, all you got to freeze. Is what a brain. business. If I was a millionaire, I would make that business for real. Like, we will keep your frozen it. head. And all these, like, crazy billionaires would be like, I want you to keep my frozen head just they in ha case. They have that. That is a business. What is it called? It's called Cryonics. I forget the name of the company. C-R-Y. I'm looking at frozen <laughs> head. Frozen head is not <laughs> what you should look up. I'll give you the name. What's it called? Cry? Cryonics. C R I Y. C R Y. Onyx. C R Y. Cryonics. I got with a Y. I got a store. Oh, with a Y. Yeah, the Cryonics Institute. Oh gosh, this is the real. Big problem, the big problem is when you freeze the brain, that uh, moisture gets in between the cracks between neurons. And damages them across time, so that's really the big problem. Wait, can I but call them? That, I can I call yeah. them? Yeah. Oh my yeah, right gosh! Right there on the bottom. Hold on, let's do this. Get in touch. Oh my lord! Most people to pay for this, you set up a life insurance policy, and you make them the beneficiary. So when you die, they oh, get they all the life insurance money, and then they cut off your head. <laughs> I've still got to. I've still got to set it up. You also got to get a tattoo that says, do not autopsy. Call this number immediately so they can chop my head off. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me gonna try and call this. You're probably not going to get... I mean, well, I, I'm going to do I it after know. the break. I'm going to trim here. <laughs> we got covered the main port, but I'm going to call this place while we're live here on our, our... If you missed it, make sure you become a member. Hit that join and also support... Vito on YouTube at Vito, and it's Kim over on YouTube. Support my as channel well. so I can afford the very expensive <laughs> head freezing. So you can protect uh, your brain from moisture. Well, there you go. Another show. So happy on today's show. It was just a fun one. It was a crazy one. I don't even know if this video is going to stay up, but if a portion of it did, you're lucky. You're going to want to watch the whole members only replay because, man, we had some serious fun with Vito, with Kim, with Steph, with some karaoke. We listened to the Britney Spears leak that Elton John put out. Uh, and uh, so much more, as well as what are monkeys doing with those rocks? Uh, tons of other stuff. So make sure you check out the members only replay over on the channel page. You can check it out there. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that join button. Hit the join, pick a tier, become a member, become part of the Popcorn Planet family. Appreciate you guys so much, and thank you guys for watching as we still get over all the audio cues. But that Shipmunk uh, Greatest Showman track, that, that was iconic. So thank you, Albus. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with some better news than we had today. Uh, but I appreciate you guys. We're still here always days live. Thank you for watching here on Popcorn Planet. Bye, everybody. Head on over to Nerd Report. We're going to redirect you now. If you uh, didn't get redirected, just go join him. He's live. Maybe I'll pop in. See you guys over there at Nerd Report. <laughs>